Hello everybody, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum as well as the MoviePicks.com Guide to DVD Architect. And here we are in part one of an eight-part series we're calling Basic Training with Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. We're beginning here at the very beginning, the welcome screen. This is relatively new. In fact, this is brand new to version 16. From the welcome screen, you have a number of options. You can, of course, open a previously created project by selecting one of the panels on the left here. You can set up for both widescreen or tall screen video projects. You can use the Easy Creator, which we cover in a separate tutorial, or you can go into Power User Mode, which is where we're going to spend most of our time. Uh, it is the full featured editor, and I think it is Movie Studio in all of its glory. Now you can, of course, begin your project with a blank slate like this and just go to work. The program will help you set up your project as you work, but I always prefer to start my project by setting up my project. And you can do that by going over here to the project menu and selecting new. When you select that, you get a new project option screen. Now you can set up your project based on what you're going to create. For instance, a 3D internet video, a Blu-ray 3D disc, an internet video, or a Blu-ray disc or DVD. But I usually base my projects on what the majority of my source video is. Most high definition source video is going to come from this option here, AVC HD video. There's HDV, that's for tape-based, for the most part, for tape-based high-definition video. And there's DV, which is for standard definition video. That would be coming from a mini DV camcorder. But also under the HDV settings are options for setting up your video for 4K. That's what 3840 by 2160 is. Now, if you have no idea what your source video is, the program will help you out. If you select Match Media Settings, you can browse to your video and we can select a sample of what we're going to use as our source video just like this click open and the program is going to create a project for you based on those media settings it's going to do that automatically it's a very nice feature now you don't have to name your project at the beginning i usually do though because then you can take advantage of the project management system here that's built into the program so i'm going to call this one florida and we'll go ahead and let it save it to a subfolder here under my Movie Studio Platinum Projects in my Documents folder. And if you select the option here to manage your project files, the program is automatically going to create a subfolder named after your project where it's going to put all of your preview files, all of the uh, work files it uses to create your video project. It's going to be all in one nice neat folder and not only is that just good housekeeping but it makes it easy to clean off your project when you're done with your project and ready to move on when all that's done click ok and you're ready to begin now let's take a quick look at the interface the interface at its default setting is pretty nice it includes a dashboard here on the upper left the dashboard will help walk you through the process of grabbing your media and adding titles I'm not sure it's necessary if you're an actual power user if you're an experienced user you can use that certainly as part of the easy editing modes that are available through the welcome screen I'm going to just close the dashboard you can also resize your panels just by grabbing the seam between them and dragging and you can resize your tracks just by dragging on the seam between them too once you've come up with a look that you like for your workspace, you can save it. You can go over here to the View menu, and if you select Windows Layouts, you can save your layout. So we can create a layout here called Steve's Layout. And now whenever I want to switch to the view that I think most fits my workspace, I can go to View, Windows Layouts, and there's Steve's Layout. You can create 10 of those if you'd like depending on whether you're editing audio, whether you're focusing on effects, whatever, and you can create your own custom layout and recall it from this menu at any point. So a very nice feature. And that's basically how you set up a project. And in part two, we're going to gather our media, bring it into our project, and actually start building out our project. All of this, of course, is covered in our book, The MoviePix.com Guide to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. Hope you'll join me for part two.